and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Sultai Yurok. That's right, we're playing a brand new card from M20, Yurok the Desecrated, 2 and Sultai Color, 3-5 Death Touch Lifelink that has all of our Enter the Battlefield triggers triggering twice. They all trigger an additional time. So we have it in, in kind of like the Sultai Midrange shell, you know, right, with like our, our Explore creatures, because these are our Enter the Battlefield effects that we want to trigger twice. And, of course, we're a Command the Dreadhorde deck uh, to be able to bring everything back, including with Yurok. Um, so we got a Chupacabra and a couple Hostage Takers that we could trigger these twice. So I guess you, we can Hostage Take two creatures uh, with the Yurok. Um, and then we have some other cool five mana cards over here. Cavalier of Thorns is pretty awesome for this deck of putting an extra land into play. Same with Golos. They both are big five drops that ramp you, that get an extra land and put them into play. Um, Cavalier of Thorns here in particular it seems pretty sweet of dumping some extra cards in your graveyard to go with Command the Dread Horde also. And I'm going to try Cavalier Gales. Honestly, this card may be kind of difficult for us to cast, and maybe this should be something else. Um, you know, like another early card, another two or three mana card, um, to be honest. Uh, but I, would, I just wanted to put one in the deck and try it, see if we could get it to work. Uh, yeah, Agent of Treachery is a good one with Yurok. That is true. And so Cavalier, is a, Cavalier of Gales here maybe should just be Agent of Treachery, to be honest. Um, but it's another creature that, you know, enters and, and draws you know, get, we could get that brainstorm trigger twice with your rock, but even just the brainstorm trigger once, um, I think works really well with so much stuff in this deck. You know, you draw three, then you put two back on top and then you could, you could put like, if you, after you draw three, if you have two cards that are the same name, you can put them both back on top and then use your Tamiyo tick up and draw them both. Again, you could put like lands back on top that then you explore away with your explore creatures or, you know, explore back into your hand kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of different like little options, you, like little cool things you can do with the Cavalier of Gales with uh, putting extra cards back. Um, it's just the the triple blue I think is going to be is going to be really hard for me to cast with my mana base to be honest. We're mostly green, of course, with Land War Elf and everything. Uh, blue sources we have thirteen, no twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we have thirteen blue sources. So casting the Cavalier of Gales with it being triple blue is what I'm really worried about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play this Golos. I have one red and one white land that, you know, Golos gets to go, can go find one of the two, either the red or the white. And uh, if we have if we have the Yurok in play and then play Golos, then we get two triggers to go search for two lands and put them into play tapped. And so we can go get the red and the white land so we can activate Golos. But between the Rejuvenator ramping us, the Cavalier of Thorns ramping, the Golos is ramping, um, it should make Krasis even better with all the ramping going on. So I know that's, this is our deck. Let's give it a try. We'll see how powerful this stuff is. Sultai Yurok. We'll see if the Cavalier of Gales is really worth it. Or maybe it should just be Agent of Treachery. So Rejuvenator helps you hit bl blue sources also. So it, I'm playing it over Paradise Druid because of the, um, you know, because it's an ETB effect uh, and everything. Um, but it, it does help with blue sources because, you know, it helps you find blue sources. Is Risen, it's possible Risen Reef is better than Rejuvenator, though. That's possible. We don't have many... We don't have many elementals, but we basically have the Yuroks and the Cavaliers to go with the Risen Reefs. Yeah, deckless, deckless Command should be working. As far as I know. That should be it, right? Yeah. Oh, and Wild Growth Walker. That's true, Wild Growth Walker as well. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, good chance that Risen Reef would be better than Rejuvenator. Yeah, your rock and cavaliers are more like the other ones I was thinking. All right, so I don't have any any hate main deck for the Nexus deck. This is what this is looking like. All right, so that is 11 power in play. I train every day. Put thoughtfulness before action. So do they have a fog or a bounce bell? They do. I was not prepared for this. Oh, no. Okay. I was like, auto tap. You didn't let, leave me with another, you know, didn't leave me with another green source there. But we hit it anyway. All right, so we'll see if we're dead or not. Good chance that we are. This isn't really doing anything for me. So remember, they, they already played the fog, so like we weren't doing any damage there. <laughs> Thanks, Yud. And with a 4-2 for the deck with a lot of potential. Not bad. No! Those who cannot Boo. Have just the trick for this. Well, we just kind of sit back and see if we're dead. Hone 
your prowess. Every story is an opportunity for new data. All right, so they can just grab back the, the fog effect even. I'll kind of make them do it, but yeah, they just grab back the fog here. I think you will find my notes helpful. Well, maybe they whiff. I mean, if they just minus and grabbed fog, they couldn't lose. Oh, all right. Okay, so Veil of Summer. Is basically only stopping, you know, it's, it could be a cycler, but it's basically only stopping the bounce spells from their deck. Does not very much. Seems like Krasis isn't really doing anything here. I don't know, like, are they going to have, like, Biogenicus? Do they just automatically always bring in Biogenicus? So I, I want my hostage takers and chupacabras. Maybe. Let's try them. Wow. Six lander, six lander. So it's weird that they worded Ashiok in a way that doesn't stop neither Narset or Tamiyo. Yeah, like looking through the library, I guess. Yeah, Ashiok was certainly designed with other formats in mind, not standard. Their hands looking very good. Yep. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Jeez. Your aggression is noted. Yeah, the Neo Form Elementals have Risen Reefs. 
because it's an, it's an elemental deck. It's certainly possible that Risen Reef would be better than Rejuvenator. Uh, good chance that that's the case. Honestly. Yeah, that looks to be the most popular new card from M20 right now is Risen Reef. I will not stand so it's for such violence. Unlikely that they had like a three mana counter spell there, but not you know, not out of the question, so yeah. Looks like we're dead. Our hand was really good. We milled to four. Or milled to five. Sorry, milled to five. But turn three Tamiyo that ticks up and gets two re wilderness reclamations. Like the phases of the moon. Like I don't think we have another turn there. And with all the Ascanth activations they have. Let's go to the next game. It was not a matchup that I built my deck to try to beat. We need a lot more duresses and stuff like that. More enchantment removal, duresses. One more Digo could be a card. But no. Yeah, Shap, that's what the that's what the card does. We have seen the our one red land and our one white land quite a bit. Normal deck size, they changed the how the decks look. And so now the decks look really big like that. Oh, so our opponent has the kitty cat? So I didn't know you got to see if your opponent has the kitty cat or not. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Hey, Mukton. Things are going good. We got a new set, a lot of new cards that we're trying out. That's always a good time. And so, yeah, we're streaming all day today. Hmm. Looks like my opponent was really relying on that duress, I suppose. I 
With this being an Esper control matchup, I'll just keep the Krasis, even though we're not going to be doing anything with it for a while. We already have, like, another Jade Light for next turn and Cavalier Thorns for the following turn. Um, honestly, Lord Jax Lord Jaraxxus, I wouldn't say that Grixis is any better than 50-50 at best against Esper. Esper just has all the tools. It's, it's a great, it's a really great deck. I do like the, the new Grixis that I played yesterday with Chandra. I do like the, that deck's chances more against Esper than last format. Like last format, I don't think Grixis won 50% against Esper. I think now you can maybe get to 50% with Grixis with having Chandra. Yeah, but Grixis is 100% against Izzet. <laughs> Great against Izzet. You do pretty well with, versus Esper with Grixis? Okay. Grixis, I mean, sorry, Esper still, you know, has discard, counter magic. They have their elder spells. They have command the dread horde and to fairies, you know, like. I feel like it's kind of a coin flip. So Veil of Summer is a tough one. All right, maybe this Cavalier Gale shouldn't be in my deck. Veil of Summers is kind of a tough one. Because, like, against Thought Erasure, it's awesome. It's it's good against a lot of their cards unless... Unless they play Little Teferi. That's, like, the one thing that I don't really want this against is Little Teferi. I think we're we're going to try it, though. I need like two wild breath walkers still. I don't know, I have to cut something. I just got a rejuvenator. It does block the bounce. Um, it's just like if if Lil Teferi's out already and then you draw Veil of Summer, that's that's the problem. Then it doesn't do anything. A rock. That elemental horror doesn't really look like a rock. For being named a rock. Sweet. Man, his animations are cool. Deputy of Detention. All right, well, I didn't really prepare for Deputy of Detention. Hmm. 
I don't know. If they just play like a Teferi next turn. I'm gonna kind of need this. I guess I keep it. So yeah, I want to get rid of the hero with that blocking. We didn't have we only had five power, didn't have enough toughness to get rid of the hero and the bell haunt. I'm known for my excellent timing. I do wish I had Time one more, more malleable than people think. One more black source than what I have. Why do they have all these cards in their graveyard? Where did all these cards come from? So three, four, five, ten. Huh. I wish I would have blocked that bell haunt now. I won't hide from the eh. world any longer. Hurry. Discovery. Okay, let's get some of these chupacabras and hostage shakers back. And the wild growth walkers. Looks like I'll be needing. I'll be needing some creature removal, and I'm going to be needing some life gain. I had too many shock lands that really hurt me that game. I didn't need to grab the Jade Light Ranger. Could have stayed at a higher life total, but oh well. Yeah, Veil of Summer right here would be perfect. Counter Thought Erasure, draw a card. Like that's that's where the Veil of Summer is absolutely perfect.
All right, Jade Light's doing their thing. Drawn cards. Fixing our draw steps. Ooh. You rock. You rock. Get the double hostage taker. <laughs> no, you rock. So I, I feel like my opponent had has a removal spell here for the the hostage taker. That's why they're willing to play their hero precinct one out. Uh, maybe not. But that's all right. We'll save it. Has death touch and life link. Good combination. So likely Wrath here, and they get the Guard Mage back. Or, you know, like, removal spell for Hostage Taker at the very least, get Guard Mage back. But I don't think that I don't play Hostage Taker there. I think Sorry, we still play I the think. Hostage Taker. Wow, Reverse. they're getting rid of Yurok? How are they not getting rid of Hostage Taker? I don't know, but I'm going to play the Hostage Taker. Immediately before they figure out any anything. All right, we'll take up Name Your Rock, that's the card on top, so we know we're drawing it. Let me aid your research. Only time will tell. Yeah, you rock sweet. I like this card. It's a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Shekel Shekel. If you should hold that thought. Thanks for the kind words. We're looking really, really good here. Hostage taker stealing. Guard Mage and Hero Precinct 1. Hmm. I know I'm not playing the Wild Growth Walker first, but I'd rather... Yeah, I want that Command the Dread Horde. To the library. That was the card I wanted to find, but I'd rather... Um, you know, get the Yurok and play and get the double Explore. Seen that coming. 
Yeah, even if they have a Kaiser Wrath, we're still we're still doing great. Like our opponent needs Kaiser Wrath to stay alive, and even if they have Kaiser Wrath, we're we're doing awesome. So it's we're not in a you know we're in a no lose spot kind of thing here. Yeah, the little pop-up with the reveal cards is definitely a good thing for this this patch, definitely. Yeah, I liked that quite a bit. So they block the five, they take six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so they're just they just take a lot of damage. Alright, one and one. Yeah, the the hitting hitting the okay every single time something was a re revealed though was a pain, like it was before. Ugh. And we got the netcaster spider cosmetic because we leveled up over here. Ooh, the next one we get a mythic. That's for tomorrow. We're getting a mythic tomorrow. Yeah, Hawkeye, it's a mythic. Aren't you excited about that? He looked at me and meowed after I said we're getting a mythic tomorrow. But he sounded excited about it. Eb Shushki is our opponent. Could get ran over for sure here. Good draw. Well, the new Vivian, you know, how you say it can tutor for pieces you need. I mean, it, it doesn't tutor immediately. You have to be able to untap with it. And then you have to trade your Vivian in for the creature, which isn't always like the best trade. And then, and not, you know, and then it's of course getting cards out of your graveyard, so you have to fill your graveyard with creatures also instead of other valuable sideboard cards. Grixis. No, my Tamiyo. My Tamiyo would be so good against this discard deck. All right, the campaign back up. Wow. Rejuvenator, you're killing me. This went over. So I went with the Rejuvenator first to see if I would have found either the red or the white land, so I'd know like, to go grab the other one. Um, I feel like there's a better chance I draw the red land, so I'm going to get the white land. That's my plan. Legendary Artifact Creature Scout. It's just a scout, but legendary. A legendary scout.
and grab Tamio. We shouldn't play that land. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. In my image. Defiance has consequence. I think you will find my notes helpful. So I could have killed Kefnet um, and attacked them for seven and let them keep the Nicol Bolas. But I don't know, the Nicol Bolas is scary. Looks like I should have done that. I can't really bounce the nickel balls because it goes back to their hand. So we gotta bounce Golos. I think Grixis control deck is a solid investment. I mean, it. that's, again, kind of like a, a difficult question to answer because everybody's situation is different, you know? Um, I think the deck is pretty good. I don't think it's one of, like, the, the very best decks in the format. But I think the deck is pretty good. Um, you know, it's I like playing it. It's enjoyable to play. Um, a lot of tough decisions. It, it's... Rewarding to play. So I have one Chupacabra, two Hostage Taker. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere.
So that's why I went Hostage Taker instead of Chupacabra. I'm going the safe route instead of just playing the Krasis. And yeah, all I had to do, of course, afterwards was just play a land, then I got to play the Kefnet. And so, of course, my opponent was really scared of that, so they tucked the Kefnet. All right, so we've seen two Jade Lights, three Branch Walkers. So I could grab Wild Growth Walker, but I don't really have enough Explorer to go along with it. So there's still two more Jade Lights. Let's let's say Jade Light. I am omnipotent. Hmm. So I'm not staying alive through a removal spell, no matter what I do. With missing there. All right, Veil of Summer. It's perfect. Uh, Vivians do a good job killing those flyers. Definitely like the Command of the Dread Horde. Gonna grab another one of those. Get more Chupacabras to kill the Flyers. Trophy kills things. All right, um, I don't think I need Elder Spell. All right, so we're bringing in a whole lot of stuff. We're gonna cut the Cavalier of Gales, cut the Hostage Takers for the Chupacabras. We'll just get rid of these Rejuvenators. And what else am I cutting? I'm just cutting, gonna cut Landmar Elves. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of Land War Elves. With them playing Cry of the Carnarium, I'm sure they're going to be playing Ritual of Soot. I think we can kind of play a slower game. We don't really need to be that fast with the Land War Elves. we got the extra one mana cards now. Hmm. So we got to just draw one land in our first two draw steps to turn on Jade Light, and then our... Hand's looking pretty good after that. We'll keep it. Thought Erasure on turn two, taking Jade Light, though, would really hurt us. All right, not hurt us as bad now. Yeah, I haven't drawn Vela Summer yet. We've brought it in a few times. Haven't drawn it yet, though. A 
about any lunar anomalies you ever seek and find. There's nothing really that I need to find here. Well, with Chupacabra in case of Nicol Bolas here. I question this outcome. All right, so two, four, seven, eleven, plus five is sixteen, eighteen. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Should definitely have these stacked a little better where the Cavalier of Thorns, you know, I should have done the auto. Like Cavalier of Thorns should happen first and then explore. The past is never forgotten. Hey once again. Yeah, there was, we definitely saw the explosiveness of the deck there. Tamiel fill in the graveyard, Cavio, Cavalier of Thorns fill in the graveyard, then Command the Dread Horde. All right, we'll see if we get Vela Summer here, where we could counter a turn two Thought Erasure on the draw. That'd be great. Yeah, Cavalier of Thorns looked awesome there that game. Hmm. Well, they're down to five cards. We'll keep this, and I th think I just get rid of command. I don't like Corpse Knight and Esper Hero. I think the more creatures you play in the Esper Hero deck, the worse the deck kind of becomes. Like just in general, like you don't want to just make the deck just all creatures kind of thing, and there's already a, a good amount of creatures. Like I'd rather just have a leak Guard Mage. Because like Corpse Knight on its own in that deck is just going to be a two mana 2-2 two -two quite a bit. It's only going to be decent whenever you have Hero going crazy and making a lot of tokens, then your Corpse Knight is okay. But those are the games that you're probably already winning anyway. The reason why that deck is so strong is the interaction that it has. When we're both mulliganing, the disinformation campaign is really pronounced. You know, it's even stronger when we, whenever we both mulligan like this. Well, that was a perfect card to draw.
So I have a bunch of four mana, two twos, the, the draw card in hand. I was hoping to get free lands off the Jade Light Ranger, of course. That was the ideal scenario. You definitely get a lot of uh, value for spending the 3200 gems on the Mastery Pass. But whether or not that's worth it for you in your in your situation, I can't really say. I'm I'm not one to say what's worth worth it for you. But compared to how what you usually get with gems, you get a lot more with the mastery pass. Well, I'll be devil. It's a lot of those. The focus and keep an open mind. Definitely got to kill Narset so we can draw extra cards. This was overwhelming. Crasuses are doing good for us. Getting us these extra cards. Well, we were going to have five lands in a row. Don't need to worry about that now. Plus, we just our last two draws were land, so that was seven lands in a row. Let's see if this is another land. Is it eight in a row? No, it was not going to be eight in a row. Um, yeah, might as well keep it. A little trade with something, and let us draw a card. So they got Ritual Set. That card's not nearly as good as Ritual Set. Let's keep this land in hand too in case there's a spell that makes us discard. But pretty sure they're dead to this Veil of Summer. Okay. Not dead. So if they take Krasis, they have to chump block Cavalier, but the the Krasis is dead. All right, so they're gonna take the Cavalier, where they take the three damage from the Krasis. But they were, you know, certainly hoping to be able to cast my Cavalier. Oh, I should should have taken the Temple. Oh well, if we find Golos, Golos just puts Temple into play anyway. So we're good there.
There's not really a draw in the format that the opponent can draw here. Even if they had, like, Star of Extinction. Like, even if they had one more mana and Star of Extinction, the Cavalier of Thorns... Oh, no, no, that's the wrong wrong Cavalier. Never mind. I was thinking the Black Cavalier putting the three CMC back into play. That's the black one, not the green one. Hey, we got a new sub here. U-I-E-O. U-I-E-O. That's fun to say. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that support. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is our ninth subscriber of the day. Hmm. It's basically the same hand. I really want to go to five. We'll try the six out. See if we can draw some more land, some explore creatures. <laughs> nope, no vampires today. I'm sure we'll get to vampires this week. All right, so we're starting with the ley line. The mana creatures add an extra mana now. Yeah, if you have a if you have a pretty limited number of rares, using them first couple days of uh, like is is not recommended because there is there is no meta game right now, and so if you're trying to like build a deck that's going to last throughout the whole format right now, I would not recommend doing that. No, I you you really don't need Leyline Sanctity for Esper against Mono Red. Esper is already good against Mono Red, and you know you have a you have good tools there. You really don't need Leyline Sanctity in that matchup. I wouldn't recommend having that in your sideboard. Well, that was a really good tick up for Tamio's. Or, like, that was a really good tick up for Command the Dreadhorde for Tamio. Uh oh. Hellkite is rough, though. That's a rough one. Okay, good. Going haste, not going with. Not going with that activated ability. Good, that activated ability. Could have been really, really rough. Library. 
So the thing is, I have two Chupacabras. I'm gonna go Cavalier of Thorns. Ah, just all lands. So I had two hostage takers, one Chupacabra. Chupacabra would probably be better here, but... I think my opponent thinks they can activate Hellkite, but they can't. Yeah, Red Cavalier with Tamiyo. Yeah, making a teamer deck with, with Ca Red Cavalier. Oh, right, that thing has an ability. Okay, well, I forgot about that thing's ability. Uh-oh. That's a rut row. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, so I got 23 life. Well, 21 life All stories must end. to use here. So two, five, eight, ten, twelve, and then seventeen. Yeah, Skylands were in Theros previously. So I wanted to do that before. I wanted to do this before I draw because I wanted to play the hostage taker for zero mana to take this Hellkite. Okay, let me have it. Yeah, Golos is sweet. Oh, I did I wasn't even looking, Butters. I don't know if I had lethal on the swing back. They had like the one blocker, but I would have just been able to if I would have just not blocked, I would have had the hostage taker get rid of that one blocker. And I would have had at least twenty 
from just the wild growths and jade lights, and then three from the golo, so 23. I don't think they gained any life. So yeah, I guess I probably could have killed my opponent that, that turn. I wasn't really even thinking about that, though. But yeah, looks like if I would have just taken that attack completely, just drawn the hostage taker, cast it, take their 4-4. Four, four. Anyway, um... What do we want to sideboard here? Definitely want these Chupacabras in here. Absolutely. And probably the Tyrant Scorns too. Maybe the Trophy. Maybe the Vivians. We need to kill creatures. I guess Cavalier and Rejuvenator out here. I mean, this is kind of a good matchup for Rejuvenator though. Hmm. But we don't need to kill creatures that bad. Maybe not like Assassin's Trophy and Tyrant Scorn bed. Problem with Chupacabras. Chupacabras is awesome. Oh, Siderphobic, hey. Good luck for game two. Yeah, I put this list together. Hmm. Well, these hands aren't good. Pet the kitty. Yeah, so I wanted to try out the Cavalier Gales in the in the deck, and I think I'm I think I'm off the Cavalier Gales. Double Leyline. All right, so they have like infinite mana. Looks like we're going to game three. Perfect opener there. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Yeah, I play ranked stuff. Right now we're just just putting together so many like new decks and everything and trying all out all sorts of stuff. I'm just doing these leagues right now. But no, I, I play ranked. We'll get we'll get over to Mythic here. Not too not too long. Alright, so they do have so seeing like those extra three drops and everything. We need to speed up our deck.
Or a deck is filled with shock lands, especially green shock lands. So risky keep here. But you know, gotta love wild growth into Jade Light. But this could go wrong for us for sure. Yeah, your rock does have a really cool animation. Oh, I don't, I don't know what decks I used last season to get Mythics. I mean, there's probably like 30 different decks that I played. I don't know. Wasn't anything like in particular. All right, well, our risky keep not paying off. Pretty perfect for them again, just having like the two lands, not drawing extra lands, so they have these other spells. Alright, come on, Jade Light, find some lands, please. Lands. No. You land. Well, that's really disappointing. Yeah, and that, that was just our turn five that we just had there. So yeah, if we would have, you know, hit our land drops, being able to play Massacre Girl would have been nice, but... Nope, no land drops for us. The Chandra's gonna kill us. Oh my gosh. Chandra's just going to tick up and just give us so many emblems and I'm never going to deal with it. Alright, so with our deck, the, uh, the blue cavalier, not worth it. And that takes a five mana card out of our deck. Also, which is kind of good. Um, yep, GG's. And I think the Tyrant Scorn, as far as like early removal goes, is probably not really what we want. With having to be blue and black, that's kind of tough on us there. I think that we actually just want cast down in that slot for a sideboard card. And then if we play sorry, if we play um, alright, not Omnith. What's the uh, um, I can't even think of the name of the blue-green card. Risen Reef. So we could play Risen Reefs instead of Rejuvenators. Or we could just play more interaction. I 
Your rock may just be a one of, not a two of. But yeah, we probably want Risen Reef instead of instead of the Rejuvenators. And I, I want one other interaction spell in the main. Maybe another Chupacabra. It could be it could be playing a cast down in the main, or a trophy in the main. Um, we don't really deal with planeswalkers at all, so maybe like, yeah, so like maybe like a trophy in the main that can kill a planeswalker. Um, Playcrafter is another option that's like pretty decent with your rock, um, and you know we get to command the dreadhorde back and everything like that. Could have could have uh, some play crafters. I don't think we really need a Moldratha. Like our our top end is already really good. I think that that's what we kind of experienced with this deck. That our our top end was really good, and having Cavalier and Golos ramp to the top end was nice. These cards were were definitely good. We don't really need any more top end. We need to. We need some more interaction, some more removal, which is why I'm not sure if we really need the Risen Reefs. Maybe instead of Risen Reefs. Um, I don't know. Risen Reef seems awesome with Command the Dreadhorde, though. Bringing it back like with Wild Growth Walker and everything. Maybe we need more Explore Creatures. Like Maybe we need like the Black Explore Creature also. No, I would try this. I would try like this extra Chupacabra here. Yeah. Yeah, this, this looks a lot. This looks better. I like this. Yeah, this is a good update here. All right, so that's Sultai Yurak. Uh, pretty powerful looking deck there. And I think these changes would help it out. Yeah, I think Reef. Because, um, you know, like this trick, you know, not only triggers for itself, but also triggers for Wild Growth Walker, triggers for Cavalier of Thorns and Yurak as well. Um, getting the two triggers there, it's, you know, basically turns into Jade Light Ranger, you know, with two triggers. One trigger, it's like Branch Walker, but but better. Um, yeah, I like it. Reef is really good. Okay, that's Soul Tiger Rock. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, thank you so much for watching Soul Tiger Rock here, and I will see you for another video.